Hi, so we're looking at how to take a byte registration with the George Gauge. The George Gauge has three components, the byte fork, lower incisor, clamp and body. The byte forks come in different sizes and the number on the byte forks correspond with how thick they are. To begin, try the George Gauge in the patient's mouth without the byte fork. Cinch the lower incisor clamp to firmly grip the anterior mandibular teeth and tighten the lower turn screw to secure that position. After that, insert the bite fork into the body of the gauge and slide it until the indicator end is at the zero point on the millimeter scale. Lightly tighten the upper turn screw. Here I am trying it in, making sure that the lower incisor notch is centered over the lower midline. I'm closing into the upper incisor notch with the midline indicator between the central incisors. Occasionally you may have to modify this if the incisors are rotated or the incisor edges are excessively thin. While firmly biting into the notches, I'm sliding my jaw as far forward as possible and as far backward as possible. Um, I'm repeating this three to four times to ensure consistency. So take note of the positive and the negative readings. You can add these two numbers up without regard to the plus or minus sign. This total is the protrusive range. You would ordinarily want to start the patient at about 60 to 70% of maximal protrusion. So this result is the number at which you would want to preset the George gauge. Once you've decided on that position, try it in the mouth again to see if it's comfortable. You can adjust if necessary. When you're happy with that position, you can proceed to take the bite record. And here I am using some putty. So full occlusal coverage is essential and make sure that you don't cover the blue portion there, which is the lower incisor clamp. When the putty has set, you can um, loosen the upper turn screw and the bite fork with the putty will be sent off to the lab together with the impressions. The George gauge can be sterilized ready for the next patient. Thank you. Thank you.